Hello there. Uh, this video is about uh, why you shouldn't play Blitz and uh, I want to use this opportunity, I want to show you on my own example uh, what happens if you play uh, Blitz all the time and uh, if you neglect uh, your other aspects of chess. So uh, the story goes like this. Uh, one month ago approximately I decided to uh, study for this uh, Oracle certificate. I wanted to, to become an uh, Oracle certified associate in uh, Java programming. Uh, this is a part of my uh, professional expertise. So I decided to study for this exam and uh, this exam is uh, not, not an easy thing to, to pass and to learn. So I need, uh, needed to dedicate a few hours, maybe three to five hours a day just studying for, for the exam and solving exercises and so on, so I could pass. And uh, well, finally I did pass, uh, it was it was last week, uh, so I was uh, very proud of myself in, in that area. But uh, there were also some consequences uh, regarding my uh, chess progress. So in uh, during that time, since uh, I was uh, studying very diligently and uh, it was a very, very hard thing to, to do intellectually. I was mentally exhausted um, because of the studying. And uh, I didn't, uh, first of all, I didn't uh, work on my chess seriously. So I didn't read any books. I didn't uh, uh, do, do any of the usual stuff I do. I did uh, do some tactics over my smartphone, maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, just, just to keep myself in shape. But, uh, well, naturally I, I did miss chess. I, I missed, I miss playing chess. Uh, so I, uh, during the time I played Blitz and uh, Bullet. Uh, by Bullet I mean two plus one. I don't play one plus zero. It doesn't make much sense to me. So I played lots of uh, two plus one games, and I also played uh, lots of casual Blitz uh, games with a colleague from work, uh, with whom I play very often. And um, when I when I played Blitz uh, with him, it's uh, three three plus two. It's uh, it's mostly about um, just. Uh, it, it's not it's not so much about chess as uh, it is about having fun. We usually speak uh, while we play, we make jokes, we trash talk and we just uh, throw pieces on the board. So this is not real chess when I play uh, Blitz with uh, uh, with him. So I played 2 plus 1 and I played this uh, joke uh, joke of the chess with, uh, with my colleague. So uh, and I did it for a month and now I will now I, I passed the exam and I came back uh, to playing uh, rapid chess, uh, which is uh, very close to, to real chess. So, and uh, this is what happened. I will now show you uh, consequences. So these are my rapid stats and you will see what happened here. So I was 2019th, just a few, few days ago. And then you see this straight line, I wasn't playing Rapid at all. I did play just a little, but for the most part of the month, I didn't even play the Rapid. So I started to play. Okay, so let me just... Uh, Coco, what's, what's wrong? Come here. Be quiet. Oh, okay. Okay, there he goes. So let's back to our stats. So you can see that uh, I didn't play because I, I was studying. And then I reached uh, 2019 which is a great rating. And uh, then it uh, it just, uh, my, my bad habits from Blitz uh, came came to, to pass. And uh, let me just zoom it. And you can see my decline, sudden decline. And uh, it was yesterday I played many, many rapid games because I just couldn't believe that uh, I was playing so badly. So I wanted to see how low I can go. And I did go very low. It says here 1981, but uh, in fact, if you look at the games, let's look at the games. I went far, I went as low as, uh, I think, 1965, maybe even lower. No, okay. So I went as low as uh, 1965 here, you can see this game. So 1965 from... 2019. So it's almost uh, 55 points. So 55 points decline in just a few days uh, because of the of my bad ha bad habits in playing playing blitz. So these are the consequences. So let me let me interpret uh, this this uh, results to you. So why do I think this this happened and what uh, what led to this? Uh, 
catastrophe in my uh, rapid rating. Well, like I said several times, uh, chess is not just about knowledge, it's also about skills. And uh, skills uh, require good habits. So if you don't have uh, good habits, you can have, have all the knowledge in the world and this will be uh, useless uh, for your game. So what happened during this one month? Uh, my knowledge didn't evaporate. One month is, is a short time. Uh, I most likely didn't forget uh, all the things I have learned and all the things I know about chess. So I know about strategical principles. I know my, my openings, my opening ideas. Um, I know my end games. So nothing of that evaporated uh, uh, during uh, this, this one month. But what happened is that uh, I uh, achieved, uh, I acquired some uh, bad habits by playing uh, 2 plus 1 and by playing this joke of the chess with my colleague. I just came out of the habit of uh, thinking, evaluating position, um, stopping uh, in, in the critical moments and, uh, and so on. So uh, my blitz habit was just to quickly scan uh, the board, uh, see the first move that comes to mind and that looks like, looks uh, like a playable move. Uh, just watch if there is some, uh, any immediately tactical threats, if no, play the move. So this is how you play blitz and this is how you play bullet. And then when you want to play uh, a longer control chess, you just, um, you have these habits which you cannot just uh, switch off and say, okay, so now I will not uh, play in the, in the blitz mentality, I will play uh, like uh, this, uh, like really chess. It doesn't work that way. So, I mean, if you are an adult improver and if you are a role related player, if you are a master on, or uh, feeder master or grand, grandmaster, then it doesn't matter. You already acquired all the, all the habits and it's not so easy to spoil your, your good habits if you are a higher, uh, higher rated player, if you are a titled play, player. But if you are an adult improver, a uh, lower rated adult, adult improver, then your habits are very, very easy, uh, easily corrupted. And um, you can see on this uh, graph how uh, how does it work. So uh, my advice is uh, stick to the longer time controls, uh, play uh, rapid chess. If you can play classical chess, it's it's even better. I don't have uh, time to play many classical games. Uh, I uh, usually play one a week in, in my Liches 45-45 uh, league and uh, and a lot of tournaments. Uh, so uh, stick to, to, to rapid chess. Uh, don't uh, give in to the temptation of playing uh, uh, chess for fun, for uh, just playing lots of bullet and lots of blitz, because uh, this will give you bad habits, and uh, these bad, bad habits will stop your progress and will stop your improvement regarding of the knowledge you you might have uh, regarding uh, chess chess games, uh, openings, uh, middle game understanding, end games, or whatever. Okay, so this was, uh, I think, about it, which I wanted to, to share with you and uh, to, to encourage you in, in, in a way uh, not to do what uh, I have done. So, uh, well, uh, thank you very much for watching. Like always, uh, leave the comment below, share the video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you didn't, you could also uh, check out the links below, join my Patreon if you think uh, it will be useful for you. And, uh, well, uh, see you very soon with more chess and uh, more advices on how to improve. Cheers.